from that breath cloud we see on a cold day. So it'll be all contained in here if there's a virus or bacteria or a fungus in there. Could be breath tests here, be a coronavirus game changer? Just bring it up to your mouth. Here at Northumbria University, they're developing a breathalyzer which freezes particles exhaled from our lungs so they can be examined for biomarkers, signs of illness, with a same-day result. They're about to start working with patients at a hospital overseas for the next stage of their research. If we can capture breath which comes from the chest uh, and detect the virus in it, then we have a much better way of screening people. Conceivably, something like this could be, with the right kind of investment, taken into the point of being made available to the community in a matter of weeks. The current system involves nose and throat swabs and blood tests, some done in drive-through areas away from hospital buildings, but there's a wait for appointments and results. A nice little kitchenette. Self-isolating in a caravan outside his house, so filming for us on his phone. You've got my house over there. Jan is having his test today, five days after contacting the NHS, and has been told he might have to wait two days for the result. The concern is that if I do turn out positive, then there's every chance that all of my close contacts will have spread it around. So it's, you know, we need to increase the speed of this if we really want to delay and contain. As patient numbers increase, this British firm making pop-up isolation units and treatment pods has seen a huge rise in orders. It's our um, ISO capsule, uh, that's the isolation pod. Uh, normally we would get one in a week uh, request for that. We're having up to 100 a day requests from throughout the world. Only the most acute patients would be treated in one of these, but the plan, as ever, is to be prepared. Peter Lane, 5 News.